king. So today we're gonna take a look at 3A's 10 finger gang king thumb zombot. Uh, this is a series from Adventure Cartel and apparently there's, there's 10 of these guys and, but this is the main leader I guess for this gang. I don't know the full story of this particular um, category or series, the 10 finger gang. But there is something here that explains a bit of what it is. I'll probably write that down in the description below, but it doesn't really say much in terms of what they are or what they do or what this character is. But you know what? That's fine. I like to like make these little stories for myself. So he is the main um, leader for the gang and he is really hard to come by and he is really expensive. I honestly don't know when or where I got this. I think it was in a lot or like I was buying a bunch of 3A stuff, but I was really lucky to grab him when I could because the king is the most sought after from all the other, from one to 10, the king is the most sought after. So yeah, with that being said, let's take a look at this um, robot dude. And here he is, uh, King Thumb Zombot. And you can see he has all the tropes of a very, very nicely made Ashley Wood figure. But you probably can't see that. So let's take a closer gander at this dirty boy. And here's a closer look at King Thumb. So you can basically see all the weathering detail of this particular figure. And it is insane, especially the first time when I saw him. When I unboxed him, it was insane how he looked. Just, you know, any pose you put him in, he could he could pull it off. Hey, look at that. Look at all that grime and dirt on this trench coat thing. Sometimes I wish I knew the story for these guys. I wish there was like some form of card or manual that comes with these figures. Like who he is, what he's doing, why is he doing it. Who made these robots? Oh well, I guess I'll leave it to my imagination of what he does. Um, he comes with, I think, I think. So I thought he came with alternate hands, but I don't know why I thought that because you can basically individually articulate these fingers. So why would he come with um, different hands? That's fucking stupid of me to think of. Anyways, he does come with three accessories. So the first one is this uh i guess samurai sword thing or a piece of metal that's shaped like a samurai sword but yeah it has a grip and it has your basic 3a weathering you can see that so yeah it comes with a sword do, 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 do. and he does come with a revolver here nicely weathered. Let me see if I could fix the light a bit. There we go. It's nicely weathered, very metallic looking, very run down, very greasy. 3A used to do a lot of nice work back in the day. So this is his um, revolver, I guess. And then finally, you have this uh, sledgehammer which is unique for his character, I guess. Because no, the other, I think, gang have somewhat similar weaponry, I guess. He's the only one with a, a sledgehammer. And yeah, it looks very nice. It is, you know, to be said with three A figures with the weathering and whatnot. I hope the lighting's okay. It looks a bit dark on the camera. So this is his uh, sledgehammer. So yeah, that's what he comes with, just three things. So with that being said, let's load him up. And here's King Thumb um, Zombot all loaded up with his gun, uh, knife, sword thing, and his sledgehammer. Now I don't know if this is a complete uh, figure. What I mean by that is I don't think it's Kit Bash, but at the same time, I'm a little skeptical. I mean, in the inside because I did get this secondhand from another collector, so I don't know if he switched out some stuff, like his hands or something, but for the most part, I think he's all original, so 
I think I'm reading too much into it, but yeah, this is him. This is the this is the king from the Adventure Cartel Ten Finger Gang. So with that being said, let's do the close-ups of this very very immaculate looking figure. So for each member of the Ten Finger Gang, they do have uh, some sort of designation on their heads. So he has a K for king. The other one has one, two, three, four, and all that. So this is how you know which one's which, I guess. Because honestly, their head sculpts are all the same, just painted differently. But you can see there, he does have a trash can looking type of head, which is really nice. And then you could see the weathering paint work. I mean, he does look dusty, but he's not dusty at all. This is how they do the effects on these figures. So you can see the individually articulated fingers there. Even though they're individually articulated, they're still fragile. And you can see he does have a holster for his gun, a holster for his sword. I just basically shoved the sword in. And you can see all the wear and tear of this figure. boots, his other boot. I mean, he could zip his um, trench coat, but that's kind of a bitch to do, and I'm not gonna do that because I might break the zipper because this is a fairly old figure. So I don't want to do anything to devalue it, oh, I guess, or break it. So you can see if my camera would focus, the, the grime, the grossness, not the grossness, just the, the weathering of everything, you know? Hey, look at that. I mean, can Hot Toys do this? I think they can, I just think they don't want to. And you have like these little detail here of that rope with this, well, I don't think it's detail, it's just a nice touch, I guess. And he does have a zipper there. I don't know why there's a zipper here. I guess for a hood or something, but I'm scared to open these things, you know, given their age and all that. You might break it and you don't know how to fix it. He does have these Velcro bits. I don't really know. Oh, I guess it's to like to tighten his sleeve. So you could Velcro it here, I guess. And yeah, that's, whoop, that's King Thumb from Ten Finger Gang. Bit of a balancing issue here. So let's just do one more slow pan. This is him. So yeah, with that being said, let's stick him on the shelf. So this is where I'll stick King Thumb Zombot with his other gang members here. I forgot the numbers of these guys, wait. It's seven, two, nine, three. Okay, there we go. So these are the ones I have so far. I'm not really looking to complete the set. If I had to buy one more, I'll probably get the yellow one, but that's about it. And yeah, so I did load him up with some grenades here just to add some flavor I guess I did add some grenades here and some of them do have some extra accessories just to fill it out just to make them look a bit more interesting I guess so yeah if anybody knows the lore or the story behind these guys let me know thanks for watching and as always let's go again